Hello friends, welcome to CEC Live Lectures. Dear friends, today in the series Environmental Studies, we are going to talk on food and nutritional security for sustainability. We are going to talk in depth and for the discussion on the topic, we have with us in our studios, Professor R.B. Singh. Professor R.B. Singh is a renowned professor and he is from Delhi School of Economics, Department of Geography, University of Delhi. Friends, if you wish to ask questions from Professor R.B. Singh on today's topic that is food and nutritional security for sustainability, then do call us through our toll-free number. Our number is 18001010430. I repeat, our number is 18001010430. Now, I would like to welcome our guest, Professor R.B. Singh, and would request him to give us in-depth knowledge on today's topic. Hello, sir. Welcome to the lecture. Thank you, Geetika ji. Welcome, viewers. When we talk sustainability, few important components always resound in my mind. These are the following, food and nutrition, biodiversity, water security, CO2, health security, and today we are going to discuss food and nutritional security for achieving sustainability, taking empirical evidences from global successful story and then I would like to bring our Indian experiences. As you know more than enough food we produce for feeding the everyone, but 821 million people are chronically undernourished. So you can understand from your known perception type of issues we are get, getting at global level. Malnutrition affects around one in three people in the planet global population is projected to rise around 10 billion by 2050 and they require enough food and more specifically I would like to mention quality food to meet nutritional needs for healthy life. So achieving food security will not be completed unless we take care of nutritional security. You know, and so that is why this all should be discussed in an integrated perspective, addressing all forms of malnutrition, productivity, income of a small scale state, uh, 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 food producers, resilience of food system, and sustainable use of biodiversity and genetic resources. And so that is why we have to need to monitor food security nutrition and sustainable agricultural practices for millions of people. Here I would like to bring before you the SDG, Sustainable Development Goals and particularly I would like to focus on SDG 2, focusing on zero hunger. Means we have to end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. So this is a very important part of environmental study and I would like to discuss more in detail about this. First global you know a, a case study here I would like to present before you this the uh, proportion of undernourished people in developing country and particularly you can see Indian situation is not so bad, but it is not so good also and we have moderately high category, you know. And so we have to improve. Through food technology, food security, we have to bring uh, 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 this, uh, you know, out of the malnutrition, out of undernutrition for achieving, for meeting the uh, uh, quality population. 
I would like to bring before you one important definition of food security and I would like to quote FAO Rome World Food Summit you know, 1996. I quote, it is a condition that exists when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life." Unquote. And so that is why food quality is also recognized as a basic universal human right that is currently unmet for millions of people in India. And this, this, this is very much important for achieving health and well-being in our country. Another important global you know, uh, initiative I would like to mention here about the Food and Agricultural Organization uh, 20 action I would like uh, here. These are the following access to productive resources, finance services, connect small holders to the market, diversification of production and income, build producer knowledge, develop their capacity enhancing soil health and restoring land, protect water and manage scarcity, mainstream biodiversity conservation, reduce losses, empower people, promoting secure uh, tenure rights, use social protection tool to enhance productivity and income, improving nutrition and promote balanced diets prevent and promote against shocks, enhance in resilience, prepare and respond to the different type of the shocks, addressing and adopt to climate change, strengthening the ecosystem resilience, enhancing policy dialogue and coordination, strengthening innovation system, adopt and improve investment and finance and strengthening and enabling environment and reform for the institutional framework. So, what are the ingredients of sustainable food production? These are the following. We have to take care of environment and regional structure of the country. Local knowledge continues to be the very, very important aspects. Community friendly technology and then sustainable food system. Linking food and agriculture. You know, food and agriculture stand today at a crossroad. Major improvement in agricultural productivity have been recorded over recent decades to satisfy the food demand of a growing global population. But progress has often come with social and environmental cost and we have important challenges like water scarcity soil degradation, ecosystem stress, biodiversity loss, decreasing fish stocks and forest cover, high level of greenhouse gas emissions. The productive potential of our natural resources base has been damaged by all over the country compromising the future fertility of our planet. So, what may be the key principle of sustainable food and agriculture. We have to increase the productivity, employment and value addition of the food system, protecting and enhancing the natural resources because for future food production, I think this is very important, improving the livelihoods and foster inclusive economic growth, enhance the resilience of people, community and ecosystem and adopt governance to new challenges. So, how we can achieve? We can achieve through people, planet, food, technology linkages. And this is, this path is very clearly marked in the 2030 agenda of sustainable development. Overcoming the complex challenges require various type of transformative action embracing the principle of sustainability and tackling root cause of poverty and hunger. And in this context, food technology can play a very important role. 
primary connection between people and the planet, food and agriculture can help in achieving multiple SDG goals. So, we have to see also different type of interactive areas like health and well being goal is very much linked with food and agriculture. Poverty eradication is also first goal is also very much linked with food security of our country. Con uh, sustainable consumption and production this also very much related to food production sustainable food production. So, that is why this agenda will bring inclusive growth in India and driving positive changes right across the 2030 agenda for change. Nutrition and sustainable agriculture, Be, you know beyond adequate calorie intake proper nutrition has other dimension like micronutrient availability and healthy diets, inadequate micronutrient in case of mother and infant can have a long term developmental benefit and you know the working condition situation is very very bad particularly uh, maternal health uh, uh, of the in our country extreme poverty and hunger are predominantly rural with a small holder fa uh, farmers and their fermi making up a very significant proportion of the poor and the hungry people so most of the people are in this uh, you know uh, living in the rural area so Eradicating poverty and hunger are integrally linked to the boost the food production, quality food production, agricultural productivity and rural income. The latest scientific knowledge can support productive food system through sound and sustainable soil, land, water and nutrient and pest management and the more extensive use of organic fertilizer. So, green production continues to be the very very important and here I would like to mention that the recent just two days before the Nobel Prize of Economics largely you know uh, uh, gone to the this type of the green economy those who contributed very significantly to the green economy you know looking the linkages with the climate change and its consequences. While talking food technology and nutritional security, we have to improve the food technology. This is a indispensable part of eradicating hunger. A number of technology can play important role in addressing concern related to various dimensions of food security. I would like to mention nutrition leveling, nutrition food items with micronutrients and gradients, develop new and enhance existing technology to raise crop and livestock productivity, improving soil fertility and make water available and can potentially increase the amount of food produced. Finally, science technology interface for climate change mitigation and update ad adaptation including precision agriculture, index based insurance, early warning system, these can these all can address the food stability in our country. Mainstreaming sustainable food and agricultural technology and here we have to link with national development strategy. Action plan requires setting of a process for functioning the institutional structure in our country. It offers decision makers a one possible solution to mobilize or engage food and agriculture with broader SDG perspective. Creating awareness continues to be the very very important particularly for engaging stakeholders in cross sectional and multidisciplinary perspective. It complements the process outline the United Nations Development Group reference guide on mainstreaming the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development together with innovative local food technology, where India can contribute very substantially for that. 
what are the drivers of food and nutritional security. In this figure, I try to you know bring the broader all different type of perspective a starting from geographical diversity to food safety and monitoring, affordable, accessible food storage network, market accessibility, nurturing the local and seasonal food variety, resource mobilization and capacity building and local community food habit and these all can be enhance the productivity through uh, the gap through six industry. What is six industry? Six industry is a combination of primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary one, secondary two and tertiary three. So, if we have agriculture, we can replicate by improving the productivity and bringing processing. Again, we can bring the value addition by bringing marketing. So, production, processing and marketing play a very important. Consequences of nutritious food insecurity, what are the different consequences? Poor child development, infectious diseases and environmental diseases, whatever now the recent ICMR Indian Council of Medical Research data shows that more than 60 percent diseases are the environmental diseases, non-communicable diseases. We do not have much communicable diseases, non-communicable diseases and so through food technology, food security we can uh, reduce this. Poor mental health among children, youth and adults, negative impacts on women maternal health. These are the some of the uh, consequences of the food in, uh, you know uh, lack of uh, quality food. Here you can see under nutrition trends progress made in almost all region, but at very different rates. Here you can see uh, three uh, uh, two time data I am presenting before you 90 and 2014 to 16. No doubt we have some progress particularly for uh, reducing the undernutrition people in uh, you know, but uh, still you can see in many places uh, still we have very high like sub-Saharan Africa you can see, Caribbean, Southern Asia is still in 15.7 you know percent you know this undernutrition people. No doubt in Northern uh, Latin America situation is little bad, uh, 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 good. Uh, then Central Asia also little bit better, Western Asia better. Uh, but in when you come to the uh, uh, particularly the South uh, Southern Asia, Caribbean, and Sub-Saharan Africa, these three uh, regions we have a very still high undernutrition people living. So, how we can mitigate the agricultural stresses, disease or pest resistance crops we can develop, pest resistance egg plant, rust resistance wheat varieties, pesticides, herbicides, a special repellent for on farm pest improve agricultural practices, soil tolerant crops, particularly I would like to mention here potato and climate resistance crops for mitigating abiotic stresses. And you know all over the world here I would like to quote the Blue River technology where you can see the application of robotics and how artificial intelligence they are using particularly for the farming. In our country also the precision agriculture, you know even one of uh, CSIR institute like a C map where I am also the member of the uh, research council, you know they have the some uh, uh, plot in the uh, uh, foothills of the Himalaya where they are, they are using the precision agriculture, the remote sensing GIS method, you know they are using for the growing medicinal plants medicinal and aromatics plants. So, 
improving crop con productivity continues to be the very very important challenge. We have to bring conventional breeding, tissue culture and micro propagation. So, conventional methods and the modern method both, both can go hand in hand. Marker assistance breeding, advanced genetic engineering, low cost diagnostic toolkit for extension workers, these are very, very important. What may be the technological implications for improving the food stability in our country? Weather forecasting technology is a need of the hour. Because through weather forecasting, we can warn uh, 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 community and even policy makers that they can take the precautionary measures. Infrared sensors for detecting crop stress, hyperspectral imaging based on drones and satellites, index based insurance system, particularly the crop and livestock. And when I talk human well-being, also I should talk the animal well-being. And improving livestock farming is very, very important. High nutrient, low cost animal fodder, liquid nitrogen and low cost alternative for animal semen preservation, low cost diagnostic toolkits for livestock veterinarians, tissue engineering for laboratory grown animal product and low cost veterinary pharmaceuticals. These are the some of the important uh, uh, strategy already you know adopted by the different institute. Ensuring food access and security, we have different, we have to develop food preservation technology. And I would like to mention particularly where I am chairing a research council, the CFTRI, Central Food Technological Research Institute of the in, a Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. They have developed different type of the food preservation technology. Hexanal formulation for ensuring retention and self life of fruits like mango, thermal battery power milk chillers, nanotechnology can continue uh, to play a very important role particularly for the uh, waste management uh, you know cleaning purposes, improving genetic varieties, seed and grain drying, aeration and storage technology is very, very important. Once I was uh, visiting to the northern part of the Haryana and saw that lot of the wheat just uh, 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 store, uh, 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 open, you know, uh, uh, storage facility was there, no any, you know, pakka storage facility, just they kept in open, particularly in the field. So, you can understand from your own perception the type of problem uh, uh, and this is the situation not only in Haryana, but also in Punjab where we have the lot of uh, very high uh, productivity. Innovative packaging is very, very important. Bio wax coating takes food preparation to the greater height. Rice uh, per boiling technology is very, very important. Efficient processing technology for pulsage rice drying technology, cool uh, uh, stores, clearing, grading and packing technology, off grid refrigeration, low cost refrigerated vehicles, low cost solar uh, 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 dryers, vacuum or hermetic scaling to protect food from bacteria. These are the some of the you know initiative already taken by some of the institute, ICR institute. DBT, Department of uh, Government of India, Department of Biotechnology and CSIR Institute, but we have to accelerate this process. This all technology we have to bring to the community level, farm level, so that we can have the more enhancing the food productivity in our country. Enhancing food use and utilization, we cannot forget high nutrient staple crops vitamin A, a enriched cassava, mage, orange fleshed sweet potato, iron and zinc fortified rice, beans, wheat, pearl millet. This, these are the quality uh, mage, 
dissemination millets you know there's a lot of the nutritious food people are preparing and even CFTRI they have developed different recently I visualize personally uh, the different type of the food already produced and I suggested that this all should be kept on a, a building on the display place dissem uh, a dissemination place permanently so that people from the different places they can see that the type of uh, scientific development taken place in our country. Dissemination of nutritious, uh, nutritious information for uh, uh, example health mobile application is very very important. Now I would like to put before you the one agriculture model taken from the Larsen agricultural innovation system where there are different components agricultural research and education system where education and research these are very very important uh, uh, involving the role of the public private system. Then bridging the institution political channel a stakeholder uh, platform agricultural extension system then cooperatives then we have agricultural value chain actors and organization particularly consumer processing agricultural producers and this all I think agricultural innovation and policy we have to bring and role of a state and central government is a very very important particularly links to the science and technology policy links to international actors links to the other economic sectors and links to the political system. I would like to put before you the one two global best practices employing ICT to build farmer community in United Republic and Tanzania because Tanzanian case study is a developing country where community building support ICT tool can be found in the South Ia Wakulima project. The project implement a transdisciplinary methodology called ERV enabling reciprocal wires where methodology developed within a transdisciplinary research project. They are taking the farmers agricultural and social environment into consideration. Audio visual documentation is very very important. I would like to bring before you another case study particularly the Portuguese information system for plant genetic resources on 13 February 19, 2005 the Banco Portuguese uh, you know uh, um, the collection has a strategic importance particularly for the food security at national and global level. They have developed different type of species, cereals, automatic and medicinal plants, fiber, forage. New system is based on green global a free platform developed in a joint effort by global crop diversity trust for agricultural research service of the United States Department of Agriculture. Thank you very much. With the store, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving us this uh, session. Friends, you are requested to be with us as we are back after a short break. Thank you.
Hello friends, welcome back to this session. Friends, as you know that today we are talking on food and nutritional security for sustainability and for the discussion we have with us in our studios, Professor R.B. Singh. Professor R.B. Singh is a renowned professor of geography and through him we always get in knowledge on the various topics and issues of geography. Friends, if you wish to ask questions from Professor R.B. Singh, then do call us through our toll-free number. Our number is one eight double zero double one zero four three zero. Now I would like to welcome our guest, Professor R. V. Singh, once again. Hello, sir. Welcome to the lecture. Thank you, Githika ji. Welcome, viewers. In this session, we will continue our discussion on food and nutritional security for sustainability, and particularly, I would like to bring before you Indian experiences. First, I would like to tell that the in our country no sustainable food consumption without sustainable food production so consumption production these are mutually inclusive and then we have to bring processing packaging marketing then in india traditional cuisine at diverse geographical setting these are very very important and then we can bring value addition we are not giving much focus on the, our traditional food system so far and though that is why here I would like to take investment in food technology for human well-being. We have to bring the technology innovation and design and for that we have to see the seasonal varieties, off-season varieties, enhancing production techniques, cleaner food production particularly the green production. Quality assessment is very, very important. Sustaining traditional cuisine and value addition very important and then we can achieve this. Production strategy to improve the resource productivity. So, raw materials and raw, raw materials may be agriculture, raw materials like a animal husbandry, raw materials like a fishing. Then we can do the processing and then we can have a products. So, while dealing with the raw materials, cleaner processing, green energy technology very important. Processing emphasis on material, low, uh, less material per unit, larger share in material from recycling industry, better modeling of component and then in product, environmentally product, eco product. Now, I would like to put before you the picture of our country. You can see how diverse production of agricultural crops occurs, varied environment we have. We have rice belt, particularly in eastern side. Western side, we have wheat, lot of millets, particularly in the southern India or the central India. But in between, you can find generally Eastern India is a more famous for the rice cultivation in India, but highest productivity of the rice, where highest productivity of rice, you know, we achieved. Not we do not uh, we did not get in West Bengal, Assam, or Tamil uh, uh, Tamil Nadu or uh, Andhra Pradesh, but highest productivity of rice we got in Punjab because of the high dosage of fertilizers, high dosage of you know and so that is why here I would like to bring before you the green production. Bengali rice and Punjabi rice you know compare Bengali rice where we have the less input, uh, Punjabi rice we have the more high dosage of fertilizers and you know uh, 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 because of the productivity. So, these are the component very very important. Here I would like to put before you changes in the cropping pattern you can see here and one data here I would like to quote in developing country barely 30 percent of agricultural production undergoes industrial processing, but in high income country or developed country 98 percent is processed food. How we can have the value addition of our crop. Our honorable prime minister is very much interested for improving the uh, farmer's income and farmer's income can be done by processing, by sixth industry where 
we can transform our agriculture into the processing and processing into the marketing. Then we can have the value addition of different type of the crops. No doubt you can see here this data I am presenting before you production of food grains and horticulture is starting from 1992 to 1415 you can see here horticulture it was 145.8 million tons now we have 252.7 million almost uh, no almost 283 284 million tons what about the food production food grains in uh, particularly I am taking the data of uh, 2001 and 2 it was 212.9 means 213 million tons. Now, we have the 253 million tons. So, we achieved lot of production, but we have to see whether these food production all over the country that is a very very important and and so that is why we have to bring role of resilience agricultural practices in maintaining food and nutritional security for resilient agricultural practices sustainable agricultural production leads to food and nutritional security then leads to healthy and health and well being then it will leads to also social inclusion and equity and then investment in environmental and socio-economic capital of our country. So, I would like to link food, nutrition and health, how we can do the question of affordability, availability, accessibility of the food for the people for every physical region of India posed a serious challenge particularly in heaven in urban region people are underweight and facing malnutrition and deficiency diseases of different micronutrient like vitamin A, iodine, protein. You see this so much vitamin D, uh, lack of vitamin D in many uh, people and recently being detected for sustaining food production we need to focus on community through four E's enable engage, example, apply and encourage. Here I would like to bring before you a data of percentage of children under age 5 years who are underweight for slum and non-slum area and the poorest quartile of selected city in India. I forget about the rural area. I am telling about you see the situation of Delhi, Meerut, Calcutta, Indore, Mumbai, Nagpur, Hyderabad and Chennai. You can see the data how many percentage of people children are under nutrients even in Delhi our national capital the so high you know and uh, 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 and uh, highest in particularly in Indore then in Mumbai also the highest no doubt Hyderabad and Calcutta is little bit better you know. So, food consumption is also very much linked with this. I would like to bring before you this data is a very recent data of 2017 uh, India Health of the Nation report ICMR, PHFI and IHME and you can see here non-communicable diseases almost in India 1316 million people constituting 60 2 percent of the total you know human po uh, uh, con uh, country population is a non communicable they are suffering from the non communicable diseases. And so, food technology national challenges and societal needs all we have to link developing mobile food processing unit for what we have different variety of fruits a spices go to the Kerala cereals all over the country at different geographical location. Dissemination of new food related technology through a smart application, mobile apps. You know our CFRTI also developed for mobile app for the uh, 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 one crop, sub uh, millet. 
वी कैन डेवलप फॉर अदर टाइप ऑफ द क्राप्स फ्यूचर आर एंड डी प्रोग्राम्स में फोकस ऑन रिक्वायरमेंट्स लाइक ग्रेन एंड नट बेस्ड रोस्टेड हेल्दी स्नैक्स एक्सट्रूडेड प्रोडक्ट्स मशीन फॉर शुगर कैन पीलिंग एंड कॉर्न सेलिंग ट्रेडिशनल फूड इन मॉडर्न कैची फार्मेट एंड एस्टेब्लिशिंग मॉडल जैगरी पायलट प्लांट सजेस्टेड बाई द कम्युनिटी दीज आर द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सो दैट इज वाई आई एम पुटिंग बिफोर यू a very important initiative program main streaming aspirational district with food technology you know niti aayog the highest policy making body of our country they have started in 2000 since january 2018 the 117 selected district you know in 20 states aspirational district program i think our food security and food technology must be and all institution should link their researches with these aspirational district program these are these districts coming from 28 states the agenda identified four regions northeastern region coastal area and islands north himalayan state desert and drought prone areas now i am putting before you this map of aspirational district you can see all over the country starting from the gujarat to eastern side you can go to manipur or nagaland you can find uh, assam many aspirational district in up uh, there are many aspirational district particularly in chatisgarh in the jharkhand region you know uh, then we have in uh, 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 Gujarat. Every place, few districts are there. Total, one hundred seventeen districts of our country. We must link our researches with these because these are the priority. Then, here I would like to bring before you that sixty-eight percent of the total of our area generally considered as a rain-fed area, where precipitation is less than potential evapotranspiration. and so that is why millet production is a lot what are the nutritional and health benefit of the millets combating with diabetes good for reducing obesity work as an efficient anti oxidant deals with the problem of constipation effective for battling against the cardiovascular disease effective in preventing breast and hormone related cancer you know this all i am telling based on the research done by the several csir laboratory several dbt laboratory indian council of agriculture these are the benefit of the millet i am taking and we are growing lot of millet all over the country here you can see area production and yield of millet of 2015 and see i am uh, uh, focusing today more on the millet because the lot of research we have the icr also the uh, millet institute i think they have done a lot of work particularly i am uh, putting here sorghum bajra ragi and small millets these are the four important you know and you can see we have production lot of the uh, uh, good production you know area and production you can see here the bajra we have so much even a small area but lot of production ragi also the very high production also you can see 12 to 16 uh, 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 four per year period i am taking bajra yield and you can see we have the more high yield particularly in uttar pradesh madhya pradesh then uh, also in tamil nadu uh, then i am taking jawar here you can see jawar if you will take gujarat madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and tamil nadu these four area where we have the more and then in the northeast nagaland also they produce so you see the all over the country here i am taking the ragi ragi high production in tamil nadu karnataka two states very high production 
then you know we have also Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir. The millet yields here you can see again Tamil Nadu, lot of Uttar Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh. So, what we can get from this? I am putting before you the sum of the food produced from bajra, expanded bajra, self stable bajra flour, instant ragi, uh, semolina, uh, protege, uh, bread, you can make uh, from ragi and bajra both, cookies, ragi and bajra, muffins, ragi and bajra. But these items are we are not uh, uh, producing at a large scale. We are producing in the laboratory. We are producing in the some CSIR laboratory. But what we need that the farmer should use this technology and they can produce and sell so that the more and more income and we can double the income of the farmer by using this. Now I am taking jowar. You see. Jawar can be eaten, flax, flax, jawar, RT, low fat, sweet, savory snacks, self stable jawar flour, nutritious millet flour, uh, millet, semolina, coarse and fine uh, category, multigrain sweet mix, you know, halwa people used to pre prepare from this. So, I am uh, uh, just uh, taking the few important you know a study uh, millet based technology developed by CFTRI only I am taking what type of different type of develop they have developed and I am taking the ragi first they have produced ragi rusk just last week I was there in Mysore in the central food technological research institute Mysore and I was very much uh, impressed the type of the already we have done so much but what we need that these all should reach to the farmers level these all should go to the ragi rusk ragi noodles ragi papar convincing floor for model i would like to tell you banana uh, chips but same banana you go to the kerala household level people are producing and they sell they are improving their income but in northern India, same banana uh, people are not using for the uh, processing purposes. Makhana, particularly in the flood affected area, you can see how livelihood can be generated from that. So, ragi roti, ragi snacks, ragi flax, ragi uh, uh, murugu mix, uh, malted ragi flour, enzyme rich, expanded ragi germinated ragi drink mix, uh, pattu mix, these are the several items you know we have invented, but we have not done for popularizing this. I would like to bring another important dimension also, urban agriculture. Urban agriculture, urban farming or urban gardening these are the practice for cultivating, processing and distributing food in and around the town, city. Agricultural agriculture can also involve animal husbandry, aquaculture, agroforestry, urban beekeeping and horticulture. These activities occur in the peri-urban area as well, peri-urban agriculture may have different type of characteristics. I think we have to give the focus. I am putting before you the lot of urban agriculture, food, nutrition, impact on health. Just go cross the Jamuna, other side 10 kilometer north and south. From the ITO you cross the other side and uh, you can see the lot of vegetable production. But here I would like to bring another dimension. Food safety issue is very important. People are growing the, uh, 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 particularly the okra, this bhindi, um, cabbage, uh, spinach, and lot of industrial belts are there. Thermal power plants are there, and the all waste material coming on the uh, uh, these items. And uh, 
uh, once I collaborated with the IAR Indian Agricultural Research Institute and I found uh, 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 they did the some analysis that heavy metal concentration in this these uh, th three crops particularly the bhindi uh, uh, gobi and the um, spinach palak ensuring food access through technology and in this context particularly several type of techniques already i mentioned uh, i would not like to repeat but uh, food preservation here i would like to mention is a very very important uh, uh, in this context. So, uh, strengthening the livelihoods and income of the farming community is very, very important and we can do, we can do, we can do through the value addition like I, I uh, gave the example of millets. The type of food variety already we invented and we have to propagate, disseminate this technology to the farmers. It aims to strengthen the livelihoods of the poorest by building better rural urban linkages and empowering rural people. Three billion people who live and work in the countryside need a special attention. Investment in a small holder, farmers, fisher folk and forester, rural women and youth, pastoralists, indigenous people and vulnerable population have the potential to produce the lasting effects on Indian economy. So, entrepreneurship for nutrition mission, you know we have nutrition mission and we have all institutes and institutional framework should contribute towards this mission. ICR institute, DBT institutes, Department of Science and Technology institute, CSIR institute, they have to dig. Under the CSIR, we have agro food, agro bio food group, you know, almost 30 institutes are there. I think their role cannot be underestimated. They have to contribute for improving the farmer's income, focusing on research initiatives facilitating incubation facility, provide testing and safety evaluation study, promoting SMEs, technical advice and mentoring, temp temporary promises for a stipulated period, instrumentation and equipment support. Food production and safety, here I would like to bring before you the two very important points. Detection and quantification of food adulterates and contaminants advanced methods are required for the identification of detection and of adulterants quickly to ensure food safety and quality. Second one, a storage bin for control of insect pest in stored food grains. Plant volatiles are good potential alternative source to toxic fumigants which can be developed as a bio fumigant formulation against stored products, insect pest. I think using this CFTRI method, I think we can contribute very substantially for this. But we have to enhance the visibility and outreach, community outreach, popularization and branding of food products at a station stalls. Food for geriatric risks, lactating and expected mothers, lifestyle di uh, uh, disorders like diabetes, obesity, anemia. You see the how, how situation of the, recently I was discussing with the one officer uh, in uh, Gurgaon district very close to our uh, uh, Delhi, you know, new area where you know that anemia is a so prominent problem because of the frequent children, you know, and they are not able to cope with that. One children, one year children, one lady has, then another uh, ch uh, 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 pregnant, and they are facing a lot of problem for dealing with the anemia 
system. I think we all have to think in a very, very comprehensive and integrated perspective, particularly the maternal health of the uh, our women uh, living in the rural area, but not very far from our uh, even national capital. Propagation, preparation of high quality manuals on product specification and its widespread dissemination, popularizing through social networking site for extending the outreach. You know, lot of the messages, dissemination, all we have to do, you know, more work we have to do, particularly for the maternal health of the, our women. Linking business, government and consumers openly developing and sharing best management practices for food safety and nutrition security across supply network. Encouraging public private partnership is, uh, will help particularly for reducing the safety practices and reducing the risk of food instability. Developing network of reliable supply and helping to facilitate supply chain accountability. Expanding a, a industrial and business partnership, better packaging by using indigenous technology. So, I would like to you know here bring that agriculture and food as business model, business model for products identified in the breakfast mission, focus on coastal area, northeastern already mentioned, mitigation of adulteration as reference standards used while comparing with other commercial available products infrastructure need dissemination, incubation center, Maharashtra government project, Telangana project, these are the uh, Ragi Modi for release of the national media, very, very important particularly for the CFTRI. Disease specific food technology is a need of the hour, vitamin D deficiency, iron deficiency, calcium deficiency. Region specific research on food and food products keeping in mind the increasing number of cancer, cancer patients, fortification of nutrients into food, non-communicable and lifestyle related diseases like cancer, diabetes, obesity, hypertension, high, uh, uh, you know, thyroid, these are need, we have to need to the focus. High nutrient stable crops, vitamin A enriched cassava, maize, orange fleshed sweet potato, iron and zinc fortified rice, beans, wheat and pearl millet, quality protein, these are the need of the hour. Dissemination of nutrition information for, uh, is very important, particularly the health mobile application. And in this context, we have to promote traditional entrepreneurship. Principle of Ayurvedic wisdom using local knowledge, food technology park, nine ministries should support. And finally, I would like to tell last reorienting the human resource and role of MHRD, Ministry of Science and Technology, UGC is very, very important, particularly for developing learning outcome based food technology curriculum framework, enhancing intake and popularization of PhD, MA and MSc in food security and technology, taking initiative to start a school of open learning, particularly on food technology. Certificate Diploma courses on Skill Development Entrepreneurship Program, particularly on food safety and quality, enhancing employability, skills and maintaining standards, very, very important. This can be achieved through internship, through apprenticeship and introduction of food technology endorsement program at high secondary and graduation level, particularly for the home science is very, very important. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving us this uh, session. Friends, you are requested to write to us at info.cc at nic.in. This is the ID where you can post your questions because sometimes it is not possible to take your questions live and sometimes it is not possible for you also to talk to us. But uh, afterwards, when you will be watching this lecture on YouTube as we are going to upload it soon and if you feel so that you are you want to ask a question then do write to us at same id as well as you can post your feedbacks regarding the lecture too we are going to meet again very soon and would be discussing uh, another topic on uh, environmental studies till then take care goodbye thank you sir thank you thank once you again thank you very much